Hello, so advanced we, uh, word weekly revision exercises, the final section 13, we're going to deal with macros. Question 30 is asking us to use the uh, document review, create a macro assigned to that uh, review file only, name it margins and it's to change the top and bottom margins of the entire document to 2 centimeters. Um, if you need any further help on this then refer to page 122 of the advanced word manual. So let's do this question together. So we start by opening the review document by double clicking. We need to make sure when we're doing a macro that we have our developer tab um, available. In the test this will be set up for you, but if you haven't got it, this is how we do it. So file, options, um, customize ribbon and make sure that you tick on the developer um, tab there and OK so that you've got this. Here's our recording area, our macro area. That's our record macro. That's where we can find our macros and run them. And once we record our macro starts, then we will get a little square down here, which I'll show you, uh, whereby you can stop the macro at any time because you do click around sometimes in lots of different areas and it's easier to get to here than it is to get back to the macro in the developer tab. So, um, the first thing we're going to do then is we're going to click on the record macro and we're going to name the macro um, margins and we're going to make sure that we store it in the review document only. Now before I start, um, a, hint, a little tip in the test is sometimes it's good to go and have a look at some of the areas. For example, it might be um, a macro that's uh, fit to one page, so you may need to go into page layout and look at the scale feature. Uh, there could be macros where you put um, file name in, the footer. So in other words, exploring where you're going, but don't do it obviously until you're in the macro, is probably a good idea because it helps to settle down your nerves. So I know um, I'm going into margins. This is quite a simple, straightforward one. So I'm now going to start the macro and we're going to do the um, two centimeter margins, top and bottom. And once I click on OK, you'll see a small um, tape machine at the end of my cursor. There it is. And uh, so I'm going to go to page layout. It's now recording what I'm doing. Margins, custom margins so that I can get into the, the back end. Uh, type in a two two centimeters there, two centimeters there, top and bottom, make sure I've got the right ones, OK, and then there's that stop button down here in the taskbar, and once I click on there, the macro has now finished. So, if we go back to the developer tab, um, and we can have a look at the macro we've just done, there it is in, in this area here, in the macros, and we may, as a test task question, we may be asked to run a macro, so this is how we would do it. For the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to step into this macro and show you, um, using this button, how it sort of records all of those things that we clicked around and did uh, while we were doing the macro. Remember that if you click a few extra things, uh, it's not the end of the world, it will still record your macro, but at least using this you can see that the macro did definitely take place. Um, so you close it by top right hand um, X in the corner, click on OK and it takes you back into your document. So that's the final question on the um, uh, revision exercises. If you want to go back over any of the questions and videos, please do. Um, and if you need any further help, remember just ask your tutors or contact us by email or uh, otherwise. Okay, thank you.